An angel always watches over you, guiding you and bringing positivity and light to your home, even though you may not always see or feel their presence. Be certain that they are constantly accompanying you, working in the background to pour blessings and abundance into your life. Today, your angel wants to share a truth with you. Someone who seems to be ignoring you actually has affectionate thoughts for you. During the nights, you occupy a special place in their mind, as they harbor a secret love for you. Their thoughts towards you are relentless, and this revelation allows you to understand their emotions. This person, whether a lifelong loved one or a recent acquaintance, has a purpose under your angel's guidance. Regardless of who they are, your angel wishes to convey something crucial about them. It's possible that this person has been distant lately, which may have puzzled or hurt you. But your angel provides insight into the reason behind this behavior. While you may be surprised, love manifests in various ways. Even though this person hasn't directly expressed their feelings, your angel wants you to understand that their emotions are genuine. Fear of rejection or concern that their affection may not be reciprocated may have led them to conceal their feelings. Your angel emphasizes that their lack of attention is not due to malice or indifference. On the contrary, their thoughts of you fill their mind, and they dream of a shared future. Your angel advises you to avoid jumping to hasty conclusions about this person's feelings. Open and honest communication is essential, allowing them to reveal their feelings at their own pace. It's also important to be sincere with your own feelings. If you feel the same way, exploring a possible romantic connection is worth considering. On the other hand, if your feelings are different, treat them with honesty and respect. In summary, there is a purpose behind every situation guided by a higher plan. Write 1111 and like this message if you trust in God's plans. Your guardian angel is leading you toward your maximum well-being, and this situation is no exception. Your angel assures you that this person could be an ideal match for you. They possess qualities of kindness, compassion, and deep love, and they have crossed your path for a significant reason. Despite initial challenges, remember that your angel will guide you through this situation and help you forge an exceptional relationship that is destined to be the most wonderful of your life. Your angel underscores the importance of addressing this situation with honesty and transparent communication. Have sincere conversations with this person about your emotions and find out their thoughts. Discover if there is mutual attraction and a desire to explore a romantic relationship. It's also vital to take things slowly and avoid rush decisions. Allow yourselves and the other person the time needed to truly understand each other and build a solid foundation for a possible relationship. Building the foundation of a lasting relationship requires time and dedication. It's crucial to understand the core values, aspirations, and goals of the other person. Only then can you embark on a journey of deep satisfaction and shared accomplishments. Rushing in relationships can lead to disappointment and heartbreak. Therefore, invest the necessary time in nurturing a strong connection and allow feelings to evolve naturally. 
The celestial beings encourage you to take a slow pace and enjoy the journey. Take the time to get to know this person as your relationship matures and deepens naturally. This may include outings, meaningful conversations, and shared moments in various contexts. The presence of this person is a reminder of your worth and the love you deserve, and it indicates the arrival of positive events in the future. Have faith in the universe and your own judgment, knowing that everything will unfold harmoniously. Write thank you, God, and share this message with five people who trust in God. God says you have asked for a message that touches your heart, so I need to talk to you about what you keep hidden in that inner corner, a place where you believe no one else will see it, but in reality, you and I are aware of it. If you feel that these words do not apply to you and in your spirit, you perceive the name of someone who needs to hear them, I urge you to share them. I deeply bless those who serve me and do not hesitate to spread this message. It is vital that we have a conversation, you and I. Therefore, I urge you to direct your thoughts away from distraction and fear when you wake up every morning. Instead of immersing yourself in worry, begin your day by expressing gratitude. Be thankful for your family, for the life you still possess, and for the opportunity in your heart to mend what is crooked. My love for you is deep and my mercy has extended throughout time. I have not punished you according to your errors, nor have I rejected you due to past disobedience to my commandments. You shall not murder, you shall not bear false witness, you shall not lie or defame, you shall not humiliate or betray. The transgressions are varied, and all can lead to dark consequences. Adultery and fornication can harm both your body and your life. However, slander, lying, arrogance, and discrimination are equally destructive. They can inflict harm, cause pain, and tear families apart. If you feel that these words resonate in your soul and recognize the voice of my Holy Spirit speaking to you, I urge you to redouble your efforts to seek me daily. Receive and obey my word. This is the time to act. I am always close, waiting for you to approach me with faith and confidence, believing in my response and patiently awaiting the blessing that I will grant you in my own time. Come into my presence today and seek someone you trust to share your burdens. By doing so, your chains will be broken and your guilt and anguish will be left behind. From now on, there will be no obstacle to prevent the blessing and the future of well-being and peace that I have prepared for you. In this moment, you have experienced my love. And remember, in your life, there is someone else who also needs to hear these words. I beg you to share them. My love for you is deep, and my mercy has extended throughout time. Write 1212 if you have faith in Jesus. I have not punished you according to your errors, nor have I rejected you due to past disobedience to my commandments. You shall not murder, you shall not bear false witness, you shall not lie or defame, you shall not humiliate or betray. The transgressions are varied, and all can lead to dark consequences. Adultery and fornication can harm both your body and your life. However, slander, lying, arrogance, and discrimination are equally destructive. They can inflict harm, cause pain, 
and tear families apart. If you feel that these words resonate in your soul and recognize the voice of my Holy Spirit speaking to you, I urge you to redouble your efforts to seek me daily. Receive and obey my word. This is the time to act. I am always close, waiting for you to approach me with faith and confidence, believing in my response and patiently awaiting the blessing that I will grant you in my own time. Come into my presence today and seek someone you trust to share your burdens. By doing so, your chains will be broken and your guilt and anguish will be left behind. From now on, there will be no obstacle to prevent the blessing and the future of well-being and peace that I have prepared for you. In this moment, you have experienced my love. And remember, in your life, there is someone else who also needs to hear these words. I beg you to share them. My love for you is deep, and my mercy has extended throughout time. Write 1212 if you have faith in Jesus. This is not the time to depart, God says, stay a little longer. I desire your spirit to rise from here, strengthened, so that when facing the world, fear will no longer nest within you. You will walk securely through valleys of shadows and deserts, feeling surrounded and protected day and night by my eternal love. Feel this certainty, embrace it, believe me, my Holy Spirit envelopes you with tenderness and guards you from danger. Even though the world presents you with trials and problems, there is well-being within you, confidence in my word, and deep knowledge of your identity. You possess a solid and indestructible conviction that will prevail today. Put an end to years of pain, I will uproot resentments, sorrows, guilt, and regrets from your heart, those feelings you will no longer remember. You are immensely valuable to me. If you could only comprehend it, your happiness would be even greater. I will instill this conviction in your heart, and no one will be able to undermine your spirit or snatch away your faith. I ask you to daily make a list of the blessings you enjoy. Be thankful for the air, life, your family, friends, the provisions on your table. Open your eyes, and you will see many more blessings around you. With patience, you will learn to value what seems small but is magnificent. Lift your hands to the sky once again, be thankful for the time and place you are in, for every day that provides new reasons to live and fight. I have granted you the power to choose between sadness and happiness. Do not let doubts be taken from you by those who always question your happiness. Find support in your eternal God, your help comes from heaven in the form of waterfalls of living water, rejuvenating your body, filling your mind with enthusiasm, and your soul with divine peace. Laughter will fill your mouth, you will have visions and dreams indicative of what is to come. Write 11 and 11 to affirm and learn from my word. Come and listen every day, open your Bible, nurture your being. My Holy Spirit will be your guide, He will show you the truth. Do not pay attention to anyone presenting supposedly stunning revelations attempting to manipulate your life with false prophecies. Do not allow them to control your will with threats. If doubts assail you, my Holy Spirit will come to console you once more. He will open your eyes and whisper in your ear that your Heavenly Father protects you, that no enemy can harm you. Shout aloud, my Heavenly Father is with me. 
Guard your words against slander and false news. Speak well of those who support and serve you loyally. Do not lie to those who trust you. If you have failed in this, be aware that in my presence, I forgive your mistakes. Cleanse your heart, but seek me in prayer every morning. I want to free your soul from guilt and regrets. I gave my life on a cross and resurrected to free you from all mental and spiritual suffering. You are human, and in this world, body, soul, and mind can become weary. Even my holy servants faced fatigue and made mistakes, but with humility, they acknowledged their faults and returned to this altar of forgiveness. They rose to fight and triumph without retreating. Come to me at this moment if you feel tired, if you believe you have failed. God says, prepare to face discouragement and fear with all your strength. Assure me that you trust me and that you are preparing for success. I will bless your home, restore your body, heal your soul, emotions, and family situation. You will witness my supernatural power with your own eyes. Listen attentively. I love you and want you to believe in me with sincerity and humility. I also urge you to come every morning and nurture yourself with my words so that your faith is ignited and that flame burns away all the fears that hinder your progress. You cannot enter the promised land if you still fear the false giants that terrify you. Lies will not yield the fruits of your victory. If you do not dare to take a step of faith and place your abilities, struggles, and failures in my hands in this stage of your life, you cannot afford to doubt the blessings I want to bestow upon you. Remember that on that cross, your enemies were shamed, and I bore the punishment for all your sins. Your debt is paid, and you have no more guilt to bear. You are seated by my side in the supernatural world, and I have anointed you with oil and honey from heaven. I am your father, and you have already received your portion in the heavenly inheritance. Look at yourself in the mirror, you are not of defeat or destined for failure. You are not condemned to live afflicted by emotions that rob you of the right to triumph. I speak of a genuine, real triumph, of freedom, sound finances, forgiveness, and harmony in your home, wisdom and prudence in your soul and mind, and a supernatural peace for you to walk without depending on negative opinions of others. I command you not to be a slave to the opinions of envious people who seek to snatch away what I want to give you. Trust in me, in my promises, and distance yourself from negative influences. Here is victory, in my presence, your triumph is. You will receive strength, joy, and peace every morning. I will be here to whisper words of love and tenderness to you, which will give you great strength and happiness. I am watching over your life and your home. If you believe, you will receive, and you will love me even more each day. Today is a new day, you will receive blessings. Do not forget that I am your shepherd, and you shall not want. I am your provider, everything you need will come to you. I am your healer, I cover you with my love and offer you healing. I am your protector, under my wings, you will be safe. In the peace of my shadow, my word will rest. My word is truth, my promises are secure. 
Everything I have spoken and promised will be fulfilled because I am God, and I do not lie. I will do what I have told you, I will guide you by the hand on the path I have chosen. I will be with you in every moment and every situation, no matter how difficult they may seem. Even when you think a miracle is impossible, trust me with all your heart. Write 777 if you believe in him. God says, every day, trust me to guide your plans, place me at the top of your projects, and I will always be by your side to provide assistance. I have demonstrated my love, even on the darkest days when you believed your mistakes had driven you away. Even when others left you, criticized you, hurt you, and belittled you, I never did. In moments of pain, they spoke of failure and tried to curse you, but do not let that affect you. Despite attempts to steal your blessings and make you feel as you did before, rise up. Do not doubt or falter. Promise me that you will trust me regardless of the circumstances. You are a winner in your paths. I love you unconditionally. I did not abandon you yesterday, and I will not today. I have always been by your side, in good and bad times, in joy and affliction. I have not rejected or forgotten you. Stand firm, even when your faith wavers. Trust in my grace, and do not torment yourself with doubts about whether you deserve the blessings. If you believe in me, accept the blessing I offer you, and when you have it in your hands, it will multiply in gifts and presents. You will have what you need to bless your family and help those in need. Bread, health, strength, and peace will abound. Use your faith to take these blessings, and do not look back, do not hide in the darkness. I am here to answer your prayers and free you from curses and diseases. I do not seek to take something away from you, but to give you something better. You are at a crucial moment of change, you have evolved. Make decisions with confidence, and do not allow negativity to influence you. Do not seek the approval of those who wish for your failure. When you share your plans, some will try to discourage you, but do not allow them to divert you. I am with you, walk without fear. When the time comes, I will open doors and bless you. Use these blessings wisely to build a better future for you and your family. Together, take firm steps toward a bright future. Write 333 if you believe in this. God says, despite your doubts during difficult moments, I want you to know that my love for you has never changed. I loved you in the past, I love you in the present, and I will continue to love you in the future. It's time to stop trusting those who betray you and to stop giving your affection to those who do not value it. Do not place in the first position those who have made you cry because they do not deserve that privilege in your life. That place in your heart that is so important is mine. Acknowledge me and respect me as I deserve. My desire is to be your guide your protector, your strength. You must allow me to occupy that special place in your life. I have noticed that you have been restless these days, something inside you is bothering you, but you can't explain it. Allow me to enlighten you about what is going on. There is a void in your heart that grows when you reject my love. 
That is why you find yourself sad and wake up at night, longing to feel loved, but you are looking in the wrong places. No one in this world can love you as much as I can. Come to me to find peace, love, and rest. What are you waiting for? Would you prefer to continue giving your life and affection to those who cause you suffering? Will you wait to be hurt again before returning to me, regretting it? Let me assure you that I will always be here to receive you because my love surpasses your mistakes and bad decisions. You do not have to wait until you hit rock bottom to approach me, you can come right now, and I will receive you with a warm embrace and show you my love. Do not despair, I am here to help you, even before you put your requests into words. Remember that I love you, and I desire to free you from the situations and problems you face. You have come to me because you know that I will extend a hand to help you rise, heal your wounds, and leave the past behind. I will bring back the blessings you have lost. I want you to know that I admire your bravery in the face of conflicts. Keep believing and trusting in me, your real, faithful, and powerful God. I ask you to distance yourself from the people who mock you and undermine your happiness. They are not your friends, they envy your destiny and despise your faith. Do not waste time trying to defeat them. I will eliminate those who harm you and bring into your life those who genuinely love you. Leave behind the desperation and do not let worry occupy your mind. Do not allow negative thoughts to disturb your inner peace. Cover your mind with the shield of faith, protect your heart with the shield of justice, and take the sword of my holy word into your hands. Prepare for battle, knowing that you will prevail and never be defeated. Write 111 if you believe. God says, encourage your children to seek education, drawing inspiration from their talents and the ability to impact families and nations in various ways. In your own home, the future heroes and leaders are growing, who will be instruments of my word before my return. Their potential will be unleashed if you honor my presence in your home by showing through your behavior and character a testimony of your faith. Do not limit yourself by believing that a bad character is innate and immovable, as my power can soften even the most stubborn hearts. Those who used to speak in anger will now express sweet and constructive words. Through these transformations, I will show my power to your family, allowing them to see tangible evidence of my influence, even in the face of adversity. In the world, my glory will manifest in your home, illuminating even your neighbors and attracting attention with miracles and supernatural events in response to your prayers. I will use you to heal the sick and alleviate their problems. A spiritual revival is unfolding in your family, and you are living in crucial times when many seek to understand the mysteries of my coming. However, I will only reveal my love to those who sincerely believe in me, who seek me with integrity, and do not fear to commit their lives to spreading my message to others out of love. My powerful word is rooted in you and is vital. Pay attention to the place and time when you hear it. Keep it in your heart and keep the flame of your faith alive. Prepare to be used as an instrument to bring my glory even to distant and unknown lands, despite the challenges and adversities. Trust in my guidance and protection at every step of your journey.
Do not be intimidated by the shadows of the valley, for I am by your side. Believe firmly in my written word, because this year will bring you blessings, prosperity, recognition, and respect as long as you persist in your faith and trust in the sacrifice I made for you. Even though you may feel insufficient or undeserving, hold on to me and accept my forgiveness. I have chosen you to be a blessing to your family and those around you. Amen. Welcome to the astonishing supernatural world. This is where we shape your happiness, where you will learn meekness and humility. Here, I grant you the power to overcome any evil, to tread upon serpents and scorpions without fear, for nothing will harm you. The door is open. I give you the warmest welcome to a world of miracles. For me, nothing is impossible, and the same applies to you. Those who kept their unwavering faith in what you were faithful to will be elevated. I love you. The drought is fading, and the harvest is beginning. The trials you went through have prepared you for the great blessing that is approaching. I hear your desperate questions about when it will arrive, and I tell you once again that the fulfillment of my promise is about to knock on your door. Your part is to rise and open it. Now work on your faith and go out to receive your blessing. Focus your attitude on victory and do not seek obstacles or excuses to remain motionless. Do not let doubts wither your faith, your talents and gifts are about to flourish. In the land, there is a wonderful garden, and I need you to take care of it. You are more than a flower, you are a lush tree that offers shade to all who seek my presence. I want you to be an instrument to bless many, to convey my love to your family, and to extend your hand to help those who are suffering, sharing prosperity on your path. Prepare yourself, the harvest is approaching. Go out and smell the scent of the field, ready and prepared for your triumph. You are one of my chosen ones. I will strengthen you and elevate your life, removing all scarcity and need. Do not follow the example of those who ignore me and waste their time on frivolities. They blame others when things go wrong and constantly complain, trying to snatch blessings from people like you. The fruit of this upcoming harvest belongs to you. Do not send others to reap it because some do not value or appreciate my blessings and discard them. Do not entrust your gifts to anyone else, and do not deliver your children to the devourer. Do not allow the destroyer to enter your home. Every morning, listen to me, and I will provide you with the wisdom you need to prosper in every aspect of your life ensuring a bountiful harvest. Furthermore, this current stage in your life is preparing you for something even more wonderful. Expect that and much more from your loving Heavenly Father, who blesses you with abundance instead of crowns. Believe it. Accept it, and tell me that you love me. Today, I will visit your home and change your destiny. You are suffering, and you need my help, my love that covers and heals you without judgment. My caring presence that embraces you in silence without reproach. You need my friendly ear that patiently listens to you without interruption. Tell me that you long for me because that is the truth. Your strength has reached its limit. This is the moment when you must recognize your need. 
You have prayed with faith and sincerity, and that's why I have come to rescue you personally. I understand that you and your family are going through a cruel desert where loneliness dries up hope, and your soul longs for love due to the numerous rejections you have suffered. Every step you take burns, and the hot stones make you cry in pain when you step on them. I understand your suffering and how difficult it is to keep walking, but I want you to know that in the midst of all this pain, my hand holds you. I have come to protect you from the enemies who attack and hurt you, even when you feel beaten down and weakened. I will revive your will to live and lift you from the ashes. Those around you and future generations will see how much I have blessed you. I will change your clothing and crown you with honor. I will clear your paths and your home will be filled with my glory. What you are experiencing today is a process of purification, similar to how gold shines only when it passes through fire. You will shine and be purified from all the negative things that still exist within you. I assure you, my son or daughter, that I will not elevate you to humiliate your brother, but to extend your hand and help lift up those who have fallen to the ground. I urge you to abandon anger, vanity, fear, doubt, and lack of faith. Do not dwell on the past, because nothing you experienced there compares to the joy you will experience from today. Look in your life for reasons, both small and great, for which you are grateful. Walk with a clear conscience and allow my virtues to fill your heart. If you are feeling unwell on this day, or believe you are not strong enough, listen to me. Open the doors of your heart, accept the peace I offer, and take some time to rest your mind. I am the creator of the universe, and I command the winds that shake you to calm down and be silent. You will no longer hear the world's threats that try to scare you and break your faith. You will not lose sight of the progress you have made, and your achievements will not be wasted. Although you may think you are weak, I want you to understand that your strength has limits. With your faith and my power, you become invincible. With your renewed strength, your spirit is indestructible. With this word of faith, your weakness dissipates, and you can confidently say, I am strong. Walk with hope without stopping and continue to this mountain where I am waiting for you at the top. This is the place and the moment to accept my will and allow me to work in your life. From now on, you will fly. I have brought you here so you don't look back. Open your wings and ascend higher to see the land of blessings I want to bestow upon you. You will no longer live in despair, go to bed distressed, or wake up sad or discouraged. Amen. Write Amen to receive these blessings today. If you find our inspirational content uplifting, leave your positive comments. We appreciate your support by liking, sharing, and subscribing to our channel. Thank you for watching.